when I started to do specifically spiritual work, it was like people of a family showed up and many beautiful relationships developed uh, between the people and now also across the continents, which makes me very, very happy. I dream of, of many of the people in the soul family and they dream of me. It's, um, it's really a, a magical uh, thing, as if all the synchronicities work into us getting together and, and helping each other as good as we can. When I was initiated the first time in Transcendental Meditation, I distinctly remember that within an instant, the, the blink of an eye, I was in a different uh, reality, like more real than anything I had experienced up until uh, that point. And now that I get to be in a space myself, where I initiate people through Reiki and also shamanically, it is still the same. At the very moment that the initiation process starts, many dimensions of reality seem to open instantaneously. And it, it stuns me, it, it keeps me surprised every single time. The very first time I received Reiki from someone was at the massage school. And just at the end of his massage, he asked, can I give you some Reiki? So he put his hands on my forehead and right away I felt such a distinct energy coming through. It was big. And I asked him afterwards, what is this? And he couldn't, he couldn't verbalize it, which intrigued me. So then a week later, I went to a Reiki practitioner in town, Phil Morgan, who later become, became my teacher and received my first uh, Reiki session and it was phenomenal. But it felt like I had been looking for this modality for many, many years and finally it had caught up with me. I see people practicing Reiki and developing themselves, being transformed in the process and it's, um, it's really quite miraculous. Shamanism came in my life very strongly when I, I think I was 27 or 28 and in my home country there lived a Hungarian uh, shaman and he gave a demonstration in the town where I was teaching and uh, it was so strong for me that I had to go up to him afterwards and I asked him if, if I could study with him and he looked at me and he said yes Yes, you have to come. It was almost like um, a mandate he gave me. And his name is Joska Sosh. And I, I studied with him basically till the end of his life, which was about five years ago. And um, I feel his presence constantly in my work. Uh, very visceral, primal, earth energy. And at the same time, so much transmission of energy that takes place. I have a very um, strange, interesting and beautiful connection to many, many teachers. It's almost like they remind me of my essence and, I, and I'm so in love with their essence. And I am certain that those teachers are actually available for everyone who cares to develop some kind of relationship uh, with them. It's my greatest joy to, to try to pass on what, what I have received. And it's, and it's wonderful for me too, it keeps me evolving. Um, there is an energy, I believe, that's accessible to, to anyone really, but we have to open up beyond what we know.